I'm so excited to be with you guys today and to talk a little bit about SheTech. Thanks for being here. Okay, so one of the things that's happening is the bit, we have our big day where thousands of girls are coming together. And we just have this opportunity to talk a little bit about the SheTech program, the impact that it's made. Um, and today we have a group of girls who are still in high school, students in high school, and some of you that are in college. It's just really cool. And you've all been part of the SheTech program. It's just one of my favorite programs because I get this opportunity to interact with all of you um, as you go through your careers, which is just really, really powerful. As many of you know, we created this program because we felt like if you had the opportunity to see all of these amazing role models and mentors, you could see new possibilities in STEM. And that would inspire entire other students to really come into technology, which is what I really love. And that's what we really want all of you to do. So maybe we can start by going around and will you just show your name and where you're at and in school, um, you know, school that you're at and what grade you're at. I think that would helpful. Or if you're in college, what year you are in studying. Do you want to kick us off? Yeah, I'm Kalea. I am a sophomore at Orem High School. I'm Angela. I go to the University of Utah. I'm a sophomore up there studying computer science and finance. I'm Olivia, and I am a junior at Skyridge High School. I'm Ava, and I'm a junior at Carl G. Mazur. Uh, I'm Aloha, and I'm a senior at Beehive Science Technology Academy. I'm Jordan, and I am at the University of Utah, double majoring in political science and math. I'm Amber. I go to SUU. I'm a freshman, and I'm studying aircraft maintenance. I'm Manya. I'm a junior at the University of Utah studying data science. I'm Sila. I'm a senior at UCLA studying communication in media and digital humanities. And then I'm also a founder of a Web3 startup. Very cool. Okay, see, we have a really great diverse set of um, students here all doing different things, which is really great. So my first question for you that I would love for everyone to answer is, how did you first find out about SheTech? I'm going to start over here. Manya, do you want to start? Yeah, of course. Um, someone sent my parents a link to the SheTech internship program. And I have parents who are in tech. And so they're like, okay, you need to be a part of this, like right now. So I signed up for the SheTech internship program over the summer and then just fell in love with the group of people that started it and the girls that was around. That's very cool. What, what year in school were you when that happened? I was a sophomore. It was my summer between sophomore and junior year of high school. Yeah, so you've been involved in the program a really a long, long time, time. Yep. which is yep. just really, really cool. <laughs> How about you? Um, I think mine was my junior year of high school at Park City. I was in the like AP computer science principles class, which was like the first computer science class I'd ever taken, and it was me and I think two other girls in like the entire class, and then I had a really really amazing um, teacher that year who's also a woman and so she had been like I think really interested in helping us be able to take like those skills to the next level and so she brought she tech to our awareness which I'm very thankful for Kelly Henderson um, amazing that's awesome um, I just saw a poster on the wall in my high school <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> got really excited be in a room full of amazing women Excited. That's awesome. I received an email during, it was right when COVID happened, so everything shut down, and I got an email from my STEM advisor that there was this really cool Explore Day happening, and it was virtual so anyone could attend, and I was like, why not? I'm not doing anything else except sitting in my room, so. Um, I got an email from my physics teacher saying that there was this Explore Day that was happening and she was really excited that she could bring a bunch of kids. She was like, you just got to go. And then I just fell in love with it. Hey, I love that everyone has a different story. It's actually my favorite thing. Um, I actually learned through it from my dad because um, he's really involved in like the journalism, like part of tech. And so he introduced me to like you and to um, like all like the she tech girls. And then I was able to go to Explore Day. Awesome. Yeah, mine was very similar to like Jordan's. I was in a web development class and my teacher was like, oh, there's this cool thing happening and it's all virtual because COVID and everything and you should check it out. And I watched the live stream and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really awesome. I want to be a part of this. It's great. Um, I was in my sophomore year of high school in my like little intro computer programming class and I was the only girl with my friend and 
I saw a poster, and so we were like, we have to go to Explore Day, because also, we got to miss school. You know, we got to miss school, so we were like, we have to go to Explore Day. And I went, and it was just like the coolest thing ever. And then my junior year of high school, I realized that I could be a student board member, and that really helped me through a really tough CS class, because I met a bunch of mentors and everything. And so I realized then that She Tech was the program for me. Um, one of our neighbors signed up her daughter for She Tech Explorer Day and told my mom about it. And my mom signed me up, and this was last year. Um, yeah, that's how I learned about it. Okay, those are, like, all your stories gave me chills, let's be <laughs> clear. Because it's just so cool to see the many different ways and the touch points. Uh, but... What I also hear from all of you is it also comes down to the people that you've met, the vision that you saw by the people that you interacted with, where you see these other women, you see other people in tech, things you never really knew about before. Mm -hmm. And then it puts you in a different path in what you could become ultimately. That's what's so inspiring around the community coming together is this, just this really cool opportunity to see that you can do something maybe you never thought about five years ago. Maybe you never even thought it was possible. And now many of you are in your degree programs, you're studying those. And then for all of you high school students, um, you have had this opportunity to also jump into leadership positions and do something that maybe you were never going to do before. That's really the inspiration we want for all of the young women. It's just this really cool path that they can be on. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what your most favorite things are that you've had the opportunity to do in the SheTech program. Who wants to start us off? I can go first. Okay. Um, we were just talking about this, but I am someone who loves to be in front of the camera. So I remember my first year of the SheTech program doing the summer internship program. Uh, we got to be on KSL and talk about being on KSL. So that was one of my favorite things. But obviously, also going to all the different companies and getting exposure to the variety of women and industries and technology, which was something I'd never had exposure to before. Yeah, that's one of the cool parts, just highlighting a little bit the internship program. This idea that you get to go visit a bunch of tech companies. Yeah. And you get to see all sorts of different things. Some things that you love and some things that you're like, oh, I don't know. Is that something that I'd study? But that broad perspective yeah. just yeah. inspires you to think about what might be interesting. Exactly. I think you ended up now working for one of those companies that yeah. you saw in one of the internships. Exactly. Yep. Uh, Domo was one of the companies that we went to and toured. And we got free lunch there, which is like one of my very <laughs> vivid memories of doing the internship program is we got to have free lunch everywhere. And Domo was one of those companies. And... The free lunch drew me back, so I still get to get free lunch and tech every day. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good advertisement. Right. <laughs> that's tech. Who else? What other experiences? I have one to share. Um, so I would say one of my favorite experiences, there are so many to choose from, but the one that really stands out to me is my senior year, I was able to be on the live stream for the She Tech Explorer Day, and I was able to talk about my story. And even though it was like not in person, I know people normally like bash on the virtual theme. They're like, oh, it's not as fun. That was probably one of the funnest experiences ever, just being on there and sharing my story with everyone who was watching. It was my favorite thing. That's pretty cool. Didn't you do the graduation part yeah, of that I one too in the virtual? Being in the cab and it was the best thing ever. That's really cool. That's a great, that's, yeah, that's a great thing that <laughs> happened along the way. How about? Um, it's so hard to choose. I've only been a state board member for a couple of months and there's so many things that I've already done. But I think my favorite thing is meeting people. I used to text my friends before I went to events going, oh my goodness, I have to go talk to adults. <laughs> and now it's gotten to the point where it's like, they're so nice and they want to help you with everything. You tell them like, oh, I have this. And before I was really like worried about, I don't know what I want to do when I'm in college. And they've kind of strived and helped me realize that, you know what, just push and do what I want to do and it will work out. Oh, that's, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That's a great story. Are you up? Yes. I okay. am up. <laughs> um, like kind of um, what Aloha was saying, I love like the community that it built. And like during Explore Day last year, when there's like the SheTech problem, right? That we all like, everyone was in the big auditorium working on this one problem. Like it just was like such an awesome like sense of community. And like, you know, you were like with your friends trying to solve like real world problems. And like, it was just like an inspiring moment to build, like be with others and to like build up ideas and yeah, have fun really. Yeah, I love that environment, too. You look in that room, and there's thousands of you know, female students who are sitting there trying to solve these problems, working with mentors, and you kind of can't help but be inspired. It's really inspiring. I love it so much. It was awesome. 
that's a, that's a really great point too. Yeah, just kind of like what's already been said. Like I love meeting people and I love the community and I love being like, I'm not alone. Like I'm not weird for loving tech. It's just, it's everybody. It's like everyone, like every, like lots of people like it. Yeah, that's right. It's just the community. Well, and we've, I think that's such an important part because sometimes when you look at tech, you have certain ideas that you probably all thought before you met people in the program about, you know, what it meant to be in tech. And sometimes even in our own like computer science classes, like, oh, I'm the only woman in that room. Right. So it can, it can feel lonely on a path that can be so powerful. And so the opportunity to meet a whole bunch of other people, even in a group like this, right, where you all your, your lives don't interact every day. But you look around the table and you see all of these inspiring young women who are doing things. That's really, really powerful because it helps us feel like we belong somewhere. I really like the aspect of just like women supporting women and like help building each other up and like getting peaking interests in more STEM related fields and careers. It's pretty cool. I I agree. It is really cool. I really loved last year's Explorer Day. I had the opportunity to introduce the governor. And first of all, meeting the governor was amazing in itself. (laughs) Um, But secondly, being on that stage and just getting to look out and see how many girls were there to learn about technology and just to see all the possibilities was really empowering to me because I had never been to an in-person Explorer Day. And so that was just really amazing and just seeing how much like the program had grown since I had joined during COVID to like what it was then. It's really cool. Yeah. You got both experiences, that total virtual and then coming back and you're right. It was really cool to introduce the governor. Nice job. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I love talking to people that are like in my field last year um, at Explorer day, there was people from UVU, their aviation program, all pilots, you know, because that's everybody in aviation, but it's it's fun to see what your career does for other people's careers. Mm. Um, um, just like talking to them, and they're like, "Oh, I do this," and and I'm like, "I know why it does that." And it's just fun to talk to people um, that are doing what you're doing, and she tech is perfect for that. Yeah, that was really cool. And I think we had an airplane last year there <laughs> yes. too, right? So we had that whole um, ecosystem, which was really really cool. The one that like first caught my attention was at the Explorer Day and the problem solving kind of like hackathon mm-hmm. thing and just seeing the power of like what it means to to have like collaboration between women and like the creative synergy that comes out of that. It's like, oh, OK, this is why we need women in these areas of problem solving and um, ideation. And so that actually like later inspired me to do a. Uh, PC hack so like Park City Hackathon which was like a 12 hour kind of version of that and she tech was really helpful and like um, helping us recruit kind of in later years for that just so that was really cool because it was able to inspire um, me to try to make my own little impact over in Park City. That's really cool. I love that perspective too that when we think about innovation because what technology does is it gives the power of creation it puts it in all of your hands all those ideas that you have you get to make them come true. And this idea that um, innovation, better innovation comes when you have diverse voices and women are around the table and all the creativity that you all bring to solving problems, it's powerful. And that's one of the critical things in technology is that we need all of those diverse voices helping us create innovation and solving problems. And all of you are thinking about different industries too, which is really cool to see Do you think about the things that you want to do in tech from totally different perspectives along the way. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how the things that you experienced or the opportunities that you had have influenced how you think about what you might do in the future or even what you are studying. Like how do you, maybe some of you have some examples of what you thought you were doing before and then you had all these experiences and now what you're doing. How does that look different? I mean, we've got four of you who are in college. How has that changed for you? How has that changed for you? Um, So I, going into high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I was very open to just trying a bunch of things and she took really is what showed me that I could go into tech. And then as I like was in the program more and more, I realized that computer science was really what I liked. As we like toured a bunch of different companies at like the internship, there were like software development and like web development and so many things that you can do with just a software background. So I realized that's like what I wanted to do. And I would have dropped computer science so much sooner if I hadn't been a part of she tech. And like every single thing that I have done since coming out of the she tech program and now 
working for Women Tech Council and as a SheTech intern, I have mentioned the Women Tech Council and the impact that SheTech has had on me. And just saying, even like showing that I am willing to make those connections and also that like those things have impacted me so much, have gotten me so far. Like I'm working for Microsoft this summer as a software intern and I'm only a sophomore in college. Like I would have never thought I could do that. And it's all because of SheTech and Women Tech Council. That's pretty amazing. I feel like nice job. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. On the, um, cause I remember a story, don't I Angela, that when you were yes. taking that computer science class, right? Like you were ready to give, give up. Yeah, it was brutal. Like I, the number changes in my head every time, but it was probably the lowest test score I've ever gotten. Like a three out of 50. I kid you not, my first CS test, <laughs> So yeah, you guys, do not worry about your bad test scores because it is bad and you can still be so great if you just believe in yourself. So get over it. Get over your fear of getting a bad test score. Grades aren't everything. It is your passion and it is your commitment to doing good for the world. Thank you. That's right. And the ability of this community who steps around you. I just remember that story so vividly as you know, that's, that's the power of community. It's the power of being part of something. It's the power of having a group of people who believe in what you're doing and can show you all of these possibilities that lead to really great things. Okay, how about any of you guys who are now in the midst of your you know, college careers? I think the biggest thing that She Tech and the Women Tech Council did for me was show me women in leadership positions who are involved in technology and what they're doing in the world today, which was something that I never saw in the media growing up, not, didn't have any family friends or anybody like that who were in those po powerful positions in technology. And so watching all of the things they were doing and just picking their brain on like how they got there was the most impactful thing because it gave me mentorship, it gave me people to look up to, and it gave me the resources that I needed for when I went out into the world finding my careers, they were the ones that connected me there, so. That's very cool. What did you think you were gonna do before you oh to man, I have no idea. I was, okay, I wanted to be on theater for a second. I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be an anchor woman. I wanted to be an astronaut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what it's supposed to be. Right, and it's just, I mean, thank you. That's such a great story, though, around, you know, all the things. That's what you're hoping for. Yeah. The number one thing that we hear from you guys and your peers are that the reason that you haven't chosen or you don't think about STEM is because you don't know yeah. any women in tech. You've never seen any role models. It's just not part of like your normal ecosystem. And so unless we create environments that show you all of these amazing people that you can then relate to, that's the thing that starts to change the, the trajectory and helps you find your passion. Because I really believe technology and passion go hand in hand. Whatever you're passionate about, something in technology is part of a part of that career today. Yeah, I definitely started high school wanting to be a nurse. I went to Explorer Day and I was like, oh, mechanics, okay. <laughs> and then there it was, and I chose my path. It's really fast. That's so cool. I think for me, um, like growing up before, I'd always been so passionate about the arts and like everything creative and a lot of like visual kind of design and stuff. And so I always had the perception of technology as being like, oh, to go into tech, you have to give up these things or like that it's like I in some way have to change. And I feel like that's what a lot of girls are also fed. It's like, okay, you're interested in these things, but like this area, like you'll make a lot of money here. It's like, so you have to sacrifice one for the other. But it was, I think she tech that really helped me to see that it's like, oh, I don't have to change anything, but technology is just an accelerant on these existing traits that I already have inherently and things I already love. And it's just an ability to basically have a bigger impact um, with that. So I kind of almost view it as like, just like this megaphone on what mm -hmm. you're already doing. And when you can find where I think those align, it's really, really powerful. Cause you're like, oh wait, like I can have, I don't know, touch all these other people. And I think at the end of the day, the cool part is like, what really drives me is connecting with other people and creating. And it's like, at the end of the day, technology, connecting new people together, connecting ideas and empowering creativity. And that's what like, I think she Tech does an amazing job at showing on Explorer Day and all the various programs. Yeah, that's a really great, I think you're exactly making the point that we all care about. You all have different passions. You have different things that you love. 
and technology is part of them. You really don't have to make a trade-off between the two. And I agree. People sometimes think that. Yeah. Right, where you're you're in high school, and it's really hard to know even what types of careers exist when you get out of high school. It's near impossible to appreciate all the different things that you could do, and so it feels overwhelming, and it feels like you just hear about just the ones that everyone talks about versus, oh, I love this, and technology can be a part of that. And we're big believers in that. We try to, you're right, we try to showcase that all the time. We're like, yeah, dance has technology, theater has technology, sports have technology. You name something, tech is part of that. The more that you have that education and skill set, the bigger difference that you're going to make in whatever your chosen industry is, which I think is one of the most powerful things. How about for any of you that are in high school? How's it started you thinking differently about what you might pursue as you graduate? Well, like for me, I really was never into the idea of tech. I wanted to be like a doctor for a long time, right? Um, and then like my mom and like my dad started like introducing me to like the idea of being open to tech. And like I one time, like the summer freshman year, I like did a tech course, right? Mm -hmm. Like a fundamentals course, right? And like, I was like, oh wait, this is actually really interesting how like much it affects like the world today, right? And I still like, I knew I loved it. I didn't know what part of it I loved and I didn't know where I wanted to like go with it, right? And then I like, like so I would go everywhere you know I'd like meet people that were like into cybersecurity, and I'm like that's what I want to do but then I'd meet someone that's like a web programmer <laughs> and I'm like that's even more amazing and like it's right now I still don't know what I want to do that's okay and it's just she tech has like allowed me to like be open to the idea of like and like realizing that there's so many ways like mm -hmm. you can like go in tech right and like there will always be a support system for you in that and so it's just, it's not like scary for me to like not know like what I want to do. Yep. It's more like powering to like say, I have so many options, right? And like, it's great that like, I don't have to like decide that now. And like, I can just see where the wind takes me. That's right. What doors open because of the exposure that you're getting? She Tech has been really great because it helped show me that like, I don't have to sacrifice being creative to be in STEM. I can do um, like, Tech is just a part of so many different aspects of life that, like, I can pursue something that, like, helps fuel my creativity while also being a part of tech. I love that message. I really do. It's just such a great theme of, yes, be creative. I think the most, the coolest thing about tech is that it is creative, that it uses all of those ideas that you have and you get to bring them to life along the way. Um, I don't know. Before I met and, like, was introduced to she Tech. I had the worst relationship with anything STEM related. Math was my nightmare. I hated it so much. And I got introduced to G Tech and they introduced me to what I could do with math and why it's actually important. Mm -hmm. And now I'm the person who cries at the Artemis launch. So like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so we've come all the way. Exactly. Right? So along the way. And Jordan, aren't you studying math? Yes, I am. <laughs> And Jordan's fully embraced math. I so, yeah, I, um, I'm in AP Calculus 3 now, and I never thought I'd be there. That's <laughs> amazing. Never. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Jordan, how has it made you think differently? I think it was just super impactful to see that I didn't have to sacrifice anything in order to, like, I didn't have to sacrifice loving technology and loving data in order to go into something like political science. I could combine those, and I could be, like, a political analyst and take the information the data is giving us and turn that into something I can present to people and say, well, here's why the voting skewed this way in this state. Here's the data behind that. And I think that was really important for me to see mm -hmm. because I had never really thought about how technology is behind everything and how there is technology used in everything, even if you don't necessarily see it. These are all just such great examples, such different perspectives that I think are really key to everyone understanding what's happening. Let's talk a little bit about mentors. Um, so many of you have gotten an opportunity to meet lots of people or even work with them. Does anyone have some examples they want to share about mentors that they've had an opportunity to interact with and how that, what impact that has made for you? Angela, you want to start us? Yes, I can start us off. So besides you, of course. You oh, were, of course. <laughs> yeah. Because you're one of the greatest mentors. Um, I would say one of the specific ones I met, I met her through the SheTech internship, and she worked at Health Catalyst, and she really just showed me that I didn't know if I wanted to go, like, specifically into, like, web development, software development, or that kind of tech, but at Health Catalyst, it was like, oh, tech is also a part of health, and my mom is a huge um, health person, and um, she works 
at the Inner Mountain. And so I was like, oh, kind of interested in that. And she invited me to um, the Health Catalyst Conference. And that was like the first big tech conference I'd ever been to. And like outside of all the perks of like tech conferences, you know, I met so many people. And she was always just like, you should come back next year. And even when it was virtual, she invited me. And I think it's just she really showed me that like there are people out there who want to help me and want to see me succeed no matter what path I take, even if like I decided not to do health mm -hmm. anymore. She was still supporting me. And so, yeah, mentors are very important on your path through tech. And there are so many women out there who do want to help you. That's right. Exactly. And we just have to come to those circles so that everyone can help each other. Absolutely. Other thoughts on mentors? Um, I can go. So I reached out to a woman who I had met through the Women Tech Council and uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to send it. She's the CEO of her company, COO of her company. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to send her an email and say, can we meet for lunch? I just want to hear about how you rose to this position, your entire life story. And I just want to get to know everything you did so I can do the same thing. And um, she was gracious enough to bring me for lunch. And she just basically gave me all her secrets <laughs> into how she how she became so wonderful and involved in technology and I think that was one of the biggest perks of being part of the Women Tech Council and the She Tech program is meeting these women and I know I mentioned it before but they really do want to help us and they do want to be those idols for us and it's just important to put yourself out there and just send it <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and, and and get to know them and they they can help you through your entire tech journey. That's really great. I also feel like lunch is a key part of your strategy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so we always. Put, like lunch into the strategy of always. all of those interactions. It is key. <laughs> all of those things. Any other thoughts on mentors or experiences you want to share? Um, yeah. Well, she, I met her, her name's Jennifer Jones. She's an ambassador for Utah's NASA. I met her at one of the She Tech events that we're doing, and it was just really cool to see her. I was like, oh, it's really nice. It's nice to meet you. And now we're working together to get me an internship in That's spring. Awesome. And it's honestly amazing. Right now, she's on the Mars exploration in Utah. And honestly, it's so cool. It's such an honor to actually be able to meet her. I never Very thought cool. I'd be able to do stuff like that. And it started with just going around and talking to people because I had no idea who anybody was. And just like, oh, what do you do? Or oh, what do you do? Yeah, it was so cool. I think one of the cool things I'm also learning from all of you is you opened up this willingness to also go talk or engage in settings that might not have felt comfortable or normal, but you found yourself in a situation where you were willing to go ask someone to tell you something. Um, it was probably hard in some of the instances, you're like, oh, should I click send on this email? <laughs> right? Should I walk up and say hi to that person? But the thing that you realize is that we, people really want to help you. Everyone wants you to be successful and they're willing to spend time and energy and their resources to invest in your future. And sometimes that's easy to forget, right? We get stressed with school and tests and life and all the complications that exist in our world, but there isn't anyone in the community who doesn't want all of you to succeed and really feels that way about every young woman that we meet or that is part of the program. And all of you shared experiences from all of these women that you've met. We didn't orchestrate that. You just happened to show up, you were willing to put yourself out there. And because of that, your life is forever changed. And sometimes part of life is doing that, right? It's showing up, it's trying new experiences, it's being open to whatever might come and then just being willing to go for it, even though it's a little scary sometimes, which is really cool. I love hearing these stories from you guys. It's really powerful. And you should share that more often with other, really with other women, because they need to hear your stories about what you're willing to do, because it's making a difference for you. And it'll make a difference for all of the people you interact with for the rest of your life. That's a really powerful thing that you guys are embracing. I just love that about everything that you're doing. So what should we tell girls who are in high school about the SheTech program who have no clue what it is? You guys started at the beginning telling these stories like that. You had no idea. Someone sent you an email. What should we tell them? What do we want them to know? I can start. Okay, you you're up. You've been, yeah. you, you and Monia are the main <laughs> audience here. I just have so much to say. I love She Tech. But I love I think it. The thing I would tell them is just, you don't know what you can do until you see one person do it. And it's also like, you don't have to see one person do it. You just have to think that you can do it too. Like, you can be that person who does the first thing as well. And She Tech, is what enables you to do that. So I would tell them, sign up for she Tech because it, you will meet so many people who will do so many new things, but then you can also do those new things. 
Oh, that's great insight. Love it. Yes. Um, yeah. I think that, like, because originally I was never, like, originally into STEM, right? And so, like, the idea of, like, going to, like, Explore Day for STEM, it was, like, I'm not into STEM. Why would I do that, right? Um, and at the beginning, like, and, like, I know, like, last year I was talking to a bunch of girls, and they're, like, I, why would I go to that? I'm not into STEM. And I'm, like, it's honestly not about being into STEM for me, at least. It was, like, it's about, like, meeting people and being, like, actively working for your future and, like, like to make opportunities for you and to, like, realize, like, you know, like, that having tech is in everything, right? And, like, tech can be in part of your passions, right? And it can, like, be the megaphone of your passions, right? And, like, I'm, like, it's, you have, like, I always just try and, like, tell the girls, like, it's not about STEM. It's just about, like, finding a good community that, like, supports you and gives you opportunities to become, like, a better person. Okay, we might use that as a tagline somewhere along the way. Like, <laughs> tech can be the megaphone for your passions. Good so now that's that was very quotable. We're going to be using that along the way. Okay, how, how, what else should we tell them? Um, I think a lot of you resonated this, but tech can be really scary. Just hearing people talk about it, it, it is a scary word. And the beauty of what she tech does and the program that's behind it is it's demystifying that word. It's showing them the beauty of what technology really is. And also echoing what a lot of you said, it's in everything. And how can we put ourselves in there? And that's just like the beauty of the SheTech program is you can go to Explore Day and you can see hundreds of different people doing hundreds of different things, but they're all combined through technology and you can find your place in that community doing what you love using technology and you shouldn't be scared of it you should just put yourself out there embrace it and yeah okay these are all great messages we're gonna make an ad out of here <laughs> sending around along the way um adding on to yes. kind of that point of like exploring all these different opportunities i think really viewing it is like Yes, you get to explore different segments of tech, but at the end of the day, it's you're exploring different parts of yourself. And I think thinking about it is like getting really excited about the idea that I think for everyone at She Tech, there's a better version of you that's waiting for that, um, waiting for you there, just to access and step into. And it's like just thinking about all the potential that's lying there um, is what really appeal to me and I think what people need to be seeing as opposed to like oh go here look at these companies look at different skills you can adopt it's like oh now you can find a even greater side of yourself um, at she tag yeah I, I actually love that you guys continue to talk about this because one of the things that we felt was really important was this idea that no matter what you were passionate about or all the things that you love that if you could see those alongside technology it would change your perspective because it isn't about tech. It's not about you know, how great you do at the math class. It's about what you are unlocking for your potential because you are all creators. Like everyone's an innovator. Everyone has ideas. Everyone have, has ways they want to solve the world's problems. And today, tech's part of that. And that's what we want, I think, the girls yeah. to know is that that thing that you're trying to solve, there's a path for you to do that. And the more that you get introduced into things like this, the more likely you will be able to solve those things that are most important to you. It's like your you're life. a woman and then you're stepping into like superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, okay. So like, I gotta start writing like, my clothes down. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way. Okay, for some of you who are in high school, I know we talk, what do you guys think? What should we be telling them? Because you, you guys are kind of new in. So, you, you know, we're talking to the young women who maybe have never heard of the program before, and they think science is very scary. They're like, I'm not a, a nerd, right? I'm not going into technology. Like, that's not for me. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's a place for you to help you on your journey. It's like, it's like it's been said, like, it's a place to help you find yourself. And it's just like, they're just, they're here to help you. Like, and you're exploring, like, what you could be. And it's just helping you go forward. Such a great message. Yeah, um, when I first... Uh, started learning about she tech and stuff. I thought STEM and tech was like all about math and science and stuff, but it really encompasses like all aspects of life. And to like, don't just limit your possibilities and your opportunities in life just because you don't think that you want to pursue something that has to do with like math and science and stuff like that. 
God, we, we really do create these barriers about how we think about math. Right? Yeah. Like all of us are, we're all like, yes, we do. And that almost becomes the limiting factor on who we could become because somehow we're like, I got a bad score on this test. I must drop this class. I'm therefore not good. Right? We make these sequences. And then it's just not true. Right? It's just not true. It's one moment. And there's so many other things there. Yeah, I don't know. It's one thing you need to make sure that all high school girls know is that there's always something there for them. You think, oh, like, oh, it's just going to be like some kind of science project, whatever. I've seen things. You can go to YouTube. But honestly, there's something for everybody there. It does not matter what it is. There's always something. It could be the beauty industry. There's so yeah. much technology that goes into that. It could be anything. There's always something. But she tech will, like, guide your path through it. It could be genuinely anything. But the one thing is that you just need to go there so that you could understand it. But you could also find a new passion while yeah. you do that, too. Yep, totally. I, and that's what I love that the fact that it's, oh, yeah, there's beauty, there's tech and beauty or the diamond cutting class that like is always super popular or, you know, the can we have, I think there's a candy class that sometimes comes through, right? All of those, you wouldn't even imagine tech would be part of this. And you can absolutely do it. I mean, like food, for example. I mean, we all love food so much. And it has to do with all about lunch. Yes, exactly. And all of it That's has to do hack. with it. Lunch. It is. Always it's a good life hack. Always the lunch. It's just everything. You just need to take a, get a leap That's and right. go. And just go for it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just join. I completely agree um, along the way. I think... Anything that we can do. And I, so these are all messages you guys have to help us deliver because you are inspiring the other high school girls who are sitting there on the, they're on the fences, they're questioning. They don't know if they should jump in. And the things that they hear from you, they, they impact them way more than the things that they hear from us. And because you guys have stories and you have paths and you have um, experiences that speak to exactly the types of things that they're struggling with because you've all been there mm -hmm. and um, moving that forward I think is really powerful I think it's one of the cool things about the program too did all of you serve on the student board has everyone been on the yeah. student board I mean that's a, been a really cool part of the program too which is this leadership board mm -hmm. where you have also got to meet girls hundreds of girls from all over the state that you would never have met before and then every so often you get to come together and interact and do cool things together, which I think is a really cool part of the network because networks just continue to build over the course of time. Um, so let's see, maybe kind of one final question that I just want to ask you guys, which is um, if you think about you know, who you were um, before all of these experiences and where you're at now, like what's one thing that you think has really developed in your confidence as a person because of the opportunities you've had to both be leaders and go through? The program. Jordan, you want to kick us off? Yeah. Um, before she tech, I could not do public speaking. Like I would go run in a room and I would just take like an F on an assignment and I was not going to talk to the public. So my confidence was not the greatest. And I think she tech really opened a lot of doors and showed me that like it was okay if I stumbled on some words because I was still out there and I was talking about something I was really passionate about. And I think there was also this hurdle of I didn't want to be the first because being a woman in technology and being an African-American woman in technology was really hard. And for a lot of the time, I would not do anything. So I was like, I don't want to be the first. I don't want to be the person that walks out there and like talks about this, even though it's like, I'm so passionate about this and I want to. And I think just seeing so many women in technology in leadership roles that were people of color that maybe weren't just solely in tech but were in something that's tech adjacent were in science was super empowering for me that's awesome and i think i remember some of those first sessions when we started working together and like you've become a tremendous spokesperson for what's happening in tech and it's just so cool to see that evolution of all of you, as I sit here and listen, I'm kind of in awe of the women that you're becoming and the journeys that you're on and the ways that you've embraced all these new opportunities. Like, it's really powerful. It's really inspiring that you have all stepped into that. Thank you for sharing that. That was a really great story. Okay, who else wants to jump in? I, I okay, think Angela, that's you're okay. Up. Um, I think Sheetuk has really taught me to be confident in myself and my ability to overcome obstacles. Like, it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to stumble a couple times. And it has really shown me, she tech, that she tech has really shown me that when those happen, I have the ability to overcome them and I can do hard things. And 
really, like, if you just have that mindset, you can make so many leaps and bounds in your life. Like, do not be afraid to make mistakes because you have the ability to overcome them. I'm writing down all these lessons for <laughs> you guys. You guys are just, okay, fabulous. Other things that come to mind. Just like what Jordan and Angela are saying, like, you can take that leap. Before, I was also the quiet person. Um, I wouldn't be able to say anything to anybody. Like what I was saying, adults, scary. Oh my goodness. That was your text. Yes, yeah, adults are scary. Right. <laughs> but they're so nice. Everybody here in this community wants to help you. Everybody wants to help you build up. It doesn't matter if they are in a totally different field than you. They want to listen to your story and they want to see if they can help you in any way possible. Just because they know how important it is for you to be the first. Even if you aren't the first, you're still somebody who's helping other people continue to grow. Because maybe they'll go, oh, you're going so I can be the first in something else. Mm -hmm. And that's so important. It's so important because... Before, I didn't know, like, oh, I could do all of these things. But now I know that I fully can and I'm fully able to, and I really want to be able to push myself to do things. See, this is the reason you all are going to change the world <laughs> along the way. Other things that come to mind. Um, I feel like being, a, being able to like be introduced to the G-Tech world has just, I feel it's definitely increased my confidence so much because I look at, like, my mentors and I'm like, they have been able to, like, accomplish so much and like have been doing like amazing things in their career right and like they've been able to like inspire me and I think like okay I want to be that to someone else mm -hmm. you know and I want to do what they did and I want to go like even higher you know and it's like if they can do it I can do it too and like I rather I'd like I mean there's constant like social situations where it's scary because you're adults and um like, you know, <laughs> it's very scary it's like out definitely like out of like my comfort zone but like I just have to like remind myself like if I don't like go yeah. out and try like I'll already be, like, failing, you know? And, like, being able to, like... Like, their social situations can be really scary sometimes, yes. especially when it's totally, like, a like new situation for you, right? And, like, a new environment. And just, like, remembering, like, where I'm, like, wanting to head has, like, been able to, like, really just center me. And, like, think, cool. like I'm doing this for a reason. And I'm, like, trying to better myself to, like, eventually, like, better others, you know? And, like, that's been able to, like, really just, like, increase my confidence in many ways, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it, I actually have never thought as deeply about, you know, that adults are so scary as you guys are kind of highlighting. But it is one of those things that kind of mentally can hold us back. Oh, someone's accomplished so much or, you know, they, they've done so much or I don't dare go talk to them. And I hear all of you today and all of you have taken those steps to say, no, I'm going to go talk to someone I, um, even in this scary situation, I'm like jumping in. I think it's really cool that you've had this opportunity placed in situations where you've got mentors at tables you're working with, you're talking to people at companies because it's kind of like lowered those barriers where, oh, everyone's not as scary. They are willing to help me. And that's a really cool thing to see happen with all of you that you have this whole new place that you never imagined um, along the way. One thing I'll add is especially in middle school and high school, which are one of some of your biggest developmental years. You're trying to figure out who you are, who your friends are, and just figuring out life, which can be super scary. And you're finding who you want to surround yourself with. And I, the thing with Chi Tech is you're getting surrounded by people who are your age who are interested in similar things to you. And you're meeting people who want to do cool things alongside you and it's making tech really cool because I'll be the first time I met in high school and middle school I was like I don't want to talk about being into tech because people are going to think I'm a nerd they're going to think I'm not cool and that's what high school middle school are all about <laughs> and so being able to come to explore day being a part of the board and going to the different cool companies and seeing wow Technology is really cool, and these girls are super cool. So I'm going to add in that CeeLo was one of the girls that I was <laughs> on the board with, and we did the internship together, and now we're still friends today, which is, so like, cool. the coolest thing because you're building long-lasting connections and relationships with like-minded people, and that in itself is, like, a huge confidence booster because, you know, like, these people don't care if I make a mistake or anything like that because – they're probably doing the same thing. So. That's right. Yeah. And it's this really important lesson in career, which is you build relationships with people and it will last for your whole lifetime. 
right? As you as you build those relationships and you build networks, and that's a really cool thing that is happening. That's so cool. That I forgot that you guys were together on the student board. It, it was just like yesterday, and now you're really finishing your career. It's so great. Okay, anyone else want to add in? Uh, yeah, oh, oh. you go ahead. <laughs> Um, she Tiger has definitely helped me and give me the confidence to like fail and then try again. Like when I was starting my She Tech club, the first advisor that I asked, um, she told me she couldn't do it because she had too much to do. And that like really shook me. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. No one she told me no. I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I can't ask someone else and then get told no again. But I did. I asked another teacher, and she was very excited to help me start up the Shitai Club. And now I'm much more willing to like go out That's and right try on. and get rejected, and then try again. That's a great life lesson. That's awesome. So awesome. I didn't even know that story. I love that. That's very very cool. Sila, uh, just speaking kind of in the confidence realm, I think Shitai can also just being exposed to seeing the lack of diversity in tech now, it's been able to change my perspective in the sense that like, I don't necessarily need tech. I don't think women need tech to, you know, everyone, you'll be successful regardless, but it's like tech really needs you. And it's like having, I think, seeing for me with like my startup that I'm building, which is like in the Web3 space, it's like rather than being like, oh, I hope this works for me, it's like, know these ideas are are needed out in the world and it's like my perspective a feminine perspective and those inherent traits are like really really needed right now and especially like Manya and I are both kind of building in um, web3 and the blockchain area and seeing it's like oh you are enough right now and it's like even though the space isn't inviting that means that like you need to actually be there and you need to be the one opening up those doors and making it possible for people. And that's why I'm like, I think so passionate just about like bringing more women into this space. And so seeing too, oh, if I can make a company that changes the perspective or perspective of like maybe this one industry or this area, hopefully that can bring in even more women space and more people with like different sort of values that we aren't seeing as much in like the traditional tech world today, web two, web three, regardless. So. I think right now is a really cool time period, I guess, totally. with like in, innovations and in technology. We're seeing like, you know, convergence, five new like crazy emerging technologies across blockchain, IoT, um, you know, list goes on and on, metaverse. And it's like, oh, this is great. And now we can bring in these like new values, which I think can have a huge impact. So really exciting time right now. It is a really exciting time. <laughs> the woman time. at the table. Oh, yeah, just be the woman. You're supposed table. to be there. Yes. <laughs> you are supposed to be there. And you're supposed to bring a couple of people yes. with you yes. along the yes. way. Like, let's Hopefully. fill the table. So, you know, those perspectives. Amber, any thoughts? Um, I loved when you said that when you walk into a space that's uninviting, it's almost like you're there to make it inviting exactly. for the women that need to be there. Um, it's interesting. I've been doing mechanics for so long that it, I start, I've started to get used to it where you walk into a room and you're the only woman there. And because you're the only woman, it feels competitive and you feel like you need to know everything or they'll think you're dumb kind of thing. But being in it for so long and being with She Tech, it's made me realize that I don't need to know everything and that it's okay to still be learning. That's a really important perspective along the way. So thanks you guys for sharing all of those insights and stories. Many times you guys gave me chills. Um, you did because the things that it's made a difference for you and you're willing to also take and invest, it's really powerful. You guys are great examples to all of our high school girls and to all of the college women that you guys are, are mentoring and you're interacting with. Thank you for being part of the program, for being such great ambassadors and for joining in the conversation. The insights that you shared, they're super meaningful. So thanks, you guys. We really appreciate it.